Okay, friends and neighbors, it's DK here at Mr. V Amps, and you're actually looking at YouTube on one of my old videos where we're talking about a PV Basic 50 that I got at the auction and I didn't know whether it worked or not, and I was able to fix it. Now, some of these are, you know, as these amps get up in years, one of the most common things that we do, in fact, if you look through uh, lion share my amp servicing videos were changing capacitors and normally when we get to various landmarks of you know a thousand subscribers 1500 subscribers whatever um, I do something kind of wacky or crazy or goofy or whatever so I thought I'd do something educational first now I have a basic 40 a basic 50 that we could actually take apart and do the visual inspection but that's a little more work and I'm feeling lazy. So I figured I'd reference our previous video. So if you have an amp that needs recapped, obviously you're, you're looking for the capacitors to be spilling their guts or whatever. Um, that has been covered exhaustively on YouTube and how to find a failing capacitor and all of that. But when it comes to guitar amps, I don't think anybody's ever covered like where to actually get them or like how to get them you know so lord knows the market is ripe for people to go buy garbage capacitors on ebay or whatever so let's actually just discuss really quickly how to know what kind of capacitors you need um, first of all i'm circling my mouse here um, you can see on this board the capacitors you have this capacitor with a lead on each side there's a lead coming out of each side that type of capacitor is called an axial capacitor um, photographed here there's an axial capacitor that is clearly marked as 22 microfarad at 450 volts okay that's all well and good the other type of capacitor you're gonna see on a more modern amp you might see a radial capacitor which has both leads coming out of one end that's a radial capacitor those are 45 microfarad at 450 volts um, additionally you may see a can capacitor like this that you would find you'll find these in your old vintage custom amps and they have the screw terminals on the top and tertiarily you might find a type of can capacitor here um, electrically these things all do the exact same thing so if the voltage and the um, microfarads is correct you could substitute one for the other it just might be difficult to you know fit them in so anyway just knowing that our pv basic 50 amp here has axial capacitors across the board as far as the electrolytic capacitors those are the ones that need to be changed um, the other capacitors in here are the film types and the stuff that's generally below a half a microfarad um, you know uh, the film caps and the ceramic caps and stuff those don't fail we're talking about replacing electrolytic capacitors so I could either just make a shopping list based off trying to read all of these capacitors but you know at the factory they weren't kind enough to roll them all into the position where they're easy to read the values of course they had to obscure those slightly make it a little bit harder for us um, but if you have a schematic it'll make your life a lot easier so um, basically you can just take your schematic and uh, make yourself a little shopping list we know that these are all axial capacitors anyway and we'll just start at where the power plug comes in we go in through the um, transformer bridge rectifier and here are our main filter caps that we're going to need we have 2200 microfarad slash 50 which is at 50 volts and when they draw the electrolytic capacitors on these schematics they actually put the nice little plus so you know it's an electrolytic capacitor so we're going to put 2200 nice typing noise for you and 50 volts and so far i have two of them so i'm just going to put two ones there um, you'll see why i do that in a minute and then we have a thousand microfarad 25 volt so and we have two of those and then we'll start shuffling here to the right or to the left excuse me i have a 22 microfarad 35 volt ok 
Okay. And we'll just keep rolling here. Th these amps are simple. They don't have a ton of capacitors, so this is probably a good one to select. It's a good, good starting point. <laughs> so I won't be here all day. Okay, 10 microfarad, 16 volt. Okay, and that's there. Let's keep looking here. Looking, looking, looking. These are 0.05. These are going to be um, film capacitors or ceramics or something else. And they don't have the plus sign, so I know they're not electrolytic, so I can just uh, bypass them. I'm not going to have to worry about them. Okay, more ceramics or films, whatever they are. 100 picofarad are probably, that's probably ceramic. These are probably film. Okay, C6 and C4 are 2.2 microfarad. Mm, helps if I put it in the right place, don't it? All right. 2.2 microfarad at, those are 35 volt. Okay, and I've got two of those so far. Let's see, where did I even find those? They're right over here. And then we'll proceed to keep looking down our schematic here. There's one there. That's another 2.2. So I'll just add another one in the column there for that. And come out here. I have a 0.47. That's kind of a unique one. I'll mark the voltage on it just to be safe. And that actually looks like our lot. Um, now, I could quickly count up here and say, okay, I've got two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten capacitors that this amp would need to be changed. And I can just go through it and point at all of the electrolytic capacitors. Let's, just for fun on my video, how many of them can I see? See, I see two, three, four, five, six, there's seven there. My hand's probably obscuring the other three, but yeah, that actually there's one there, eight. So you know, it, it, I, again, without pulling the amp apart, I'm not going to know 100%. But let's let's run with this as our shopping list. Now for axial values in solid state-ish kind of circuits, um, the vendor that I generally find everything I need and it's cheap enough, and they actually have axials. If you've ever tried to shop at DigiKey or Mauser, they're, they're fine companies. I have nothing bad to say about them, but rookies navigating that site, it will drive you mental. So a lot of times I use Jamco. Everybody's looking through my search history there going, oh, did he look at anything naughty? I know you are. Okay, so we're going to come here now. A Again, this can be daunting at first. Capacitors fall under the category of passive components, so we'll go there, and once our site loads, we want capacitors. There are 643 capacitors to choose from, as opposed to probably thousands at other sites, and we are looking for electrolytic axial capacitors. There we go. So. Now we can just scroll down. Everything we've got here is an electrolytic axial. So this is all going to fit correctly in our um, amplifier here. So I did need a 10 microfarad. I did see a 10 microfarad. Yeah, I only need one of them. So that's gonna cost me 55 cents. But if I buy 10 of them, I get, I get 10 cents off a capacitor. Ooh, what a deal. But uh, you know, if you're gonna be like a goof like me, you would probably, just, you know, buy them in quantities of 10 or 20 or, I mean, look at the discount when you get to 100, you know. If you're going to do a big old mixing board or something like that, PV has a habit of recycling values. You see like 20, 10, 22, 2.2, uh, uh, 47s, and like the 2200, they're everywhere in those amps. But we'll add that one to the cart, okay. And we'll back the track up here. Uh, did I have a hundred microfarad on my list? 
and my 10 microfarad capacitor, I only needed a 16 volt, then I got a 100 volt. I don't know that I would even need that one, so let's look. In fact, I can probably, uh, let's see, voltage rating, we can pick them out here. So here's our 16 volts, so let's just see if we can get these exact, and if we can't, we can just go up on the voltage a little bit. Yep, 10 microfarad, 16 volts, so they do have them, and they're weirdly more expensive. Oh, but they're sold in boxes of 10, so okay, so if I add that to, so I got 10 of them coming there, and I can delete uh, these. Okay, no problem, so let's go back to our previous page here where we were looking at capacitors. Okay, I had them selected by voltage, I think. Yep, so we're gonna change 16 to, what was our 50? We wanna change 16 to 50. Ugh. Websites stink. There's no, there's no fun way to do these shoppings, I hate to tell you. So we'll look at 50. And we're looking for our 2200 microfarad. So, let's see, 33, 15, 220, close, not 2200. 2200 microfarad, 50 volt capacitors, $3.75. I need two. Okay, good. And the other thing you can do just to kind of cheat the game a little bit is I can do, I can just type 1000 microfarad um, and I think what was the voltage on that 35 volt it isn't gonna matter if I put a thousand microfarad a site like Jameco isn't gonna show me four million capacitors um, so there's an axial thousand microfarad 35 volt cap which is close to what we need we technically only need a 25 microfarad cap but uh, there's one right there a thousand microfarad 25 volt cap and it is a dollar 75 I need two of those okay okay what's next on the list I need 22 microfarad 35 volt so let's put in 22 microfarad probably find it in a heartbeat what was that 30 did it was a 30 450 volt there you go that's for your tube amp new no. let's see Okay, there's a lot of them. Okay, it's it's getting me into a rabbit hole here. So let's add. Let's say 22 microfarad axial. And what are my choices? Okay, there we go. There's 25 volt, 450 volt, or 50 volt. And what were the ones in there? They were 35. So let's see. All right, so I have three choices, and oh, let's see, no, hold on, that was, that's 25 volt, the original ones were supposed to be 35, and my only other option is 450 volt, yipe, that's not cool. Aha, I just had to keep scrolling a little bit, here's a 22 microfarad, it's a 50 volt, our original one was a 35, this one will be a 50, that is close enough for government work. Um, you can always go up a little bit on your voltage, it isn't going to hurt you, so if the thing requires a 35 volt cap and all you can find is a 50, fine. Don't go crazy though, if it wants a 50 volt cap, don't be throwing a 400 and something at it, it's going to burn you. So we only need one of those. Alright, now what's next? We need our... I think I already put the tens in there. I need a 2.2 microfarad. Okay, radio, 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 axial. There we go, 50 volt axial capacitor. And the original one only had to be 25 volts, so a 25 volt one will probably be cheaper. But it no exists here, so a 50 volt will do just fine. How many of those did I need? Three. Okay. And do I get a price break when I buy more? Well, no. <laughs> Let's get three. All right. Close enough. 
And actually, the newer manufactured caps are physically, usually they're smaller than the caps from, you know, 25 years ago. A half a microfarad axial capacitor is probably going to be a little harder to find. Finding a lot of 47s, but I'm not finding not 0.47. And, 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 and. 0.47 is more common in a um, they're com they're more common in um, like film capacitors and stuff and they have some tantalums here and technically would work okay so the only thing that they have at their store in a 0.47 is this 50 volt uh, radial capacitor which eh, as long as the legs are long enough we can we can spread them and make it make it work okay now if you're going to be repairing like modern fender tube amps and crap you're going to want to probably get a stock of those but essentially this is all the capacitors that we would need to recap that pv and it's a whopping 15 dollars so they have a minimal a minimum order of 20 bucks there um, either that or they're going to charge you an extra five so that's going to make put you up to 20 anyway so you may want to grab some solder or something else like that to help you out with what you're doing um, yeah so and there you go so that's how you would select your capacitors to redo a solid state amp like this the axial electrolytics are a little less common and this particular manufacturer tends to be one of the easiest to shop at um, so when I'm doing a lot of the PVs and stuff like that I, I buy their stuff now there's probably going to be a bunch of people that are you know having a quick panic going oh my gosh your your capacitors are there those are Nichicons and and Panasonic's and all of the super brands that everybody says the thing is is with a company like this yeah they're their house brand capacitors their store brand they cost less money but again I'm trying to fix this thing to sell it if I didn't think that these capacitors were up to snuff I wouldn't tell you to go shop here um, you know we're, we're just trying to fix this stuff to sell it right um, you know if you really care about having premium manufacturers or something like that for a lower voltage application you know fine go go shop at digikey or mauser or something and buy panasonics or nichicon or whatever you really believe in but for just general repairs this is fine um and they stand by their stuff if you got a bad batch or something they'll, they'll you know they'll take care of it so yeah that's how i would do how i would shop for and find the capacitors for a solid state amp i would either manually go through and read the amp the read through all the stuff in the amp and make a checklist or i would just pull the schematic and walk through it and find what you need and essentially we were able to find everything we need from one online store and it was pretty affordable um the advice i would have for you if you're going shopping for these you know by default people go i want to gosh that's the, there's some really cheap ones on aliexpress or ebay or something like that and again i, I advise against just you know rando shopping on ebay because you don't know who you're buying you know from uh, as opposed to you know if you do have a bad batch of caps or anything like that um you know you want somebody who's going to stand behind you now secondarily if you are a rookie at doing this you might want to add an extra one or two to each of these values just in case you put one backwards and it goes bang so yeah i hope that helps uh just how to shop for caps if you need to redo you know a older amp um if you were you know i've done a bunch of these over the years and some of them have radials in them some of them have axials in them um as far as like radials axials most of what you need without ridiculous pricing you probably find it here for the tube amps that's a different ball of wax and i will cover that in a separate video thanks for watching have a great day